Hey, it's uh, Chris Jackson here, and this is my first video review of an album. Uh, something I've wanted to do for a while, thought I would just jump in, start doing it, you know, whenever I have free time with all the other musical things I do. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, the first one I wanted to start with was this new album by Lil Yachty. Little Boat 2. Well, it's not an album, it's a mixtape. Before I get into Little Boat 2, I want to talk about Little Boat 1. I remember when I first heard him, Lil Yachty, I had no idea what I thought of him. He was melodic. Uh, it was all happy, major chords uh, in the production. Super auto-tuned repetitive, uh, but it was still trap. I had never really heard anything like it. So yeah, I heard One Night, and I was like, yeah, this is interesting. I didn't really look too much further. And then when I saw he released the mixtape, I checked it out. And yeah, I honestly can say I was hooked, like, immediately. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been so immediately hooked to a mixtape before. I've, I listened to it, like, so many times when it came out, like, from March through, like, August. <laughs> I listened to it just on repeat whenever I could. I was just so, I had never heard anything like it before. It was, I was really just getting into, like, Trap Trap, and it was such a breath of fresh air to hear Lil Yachty do what he was doing on this track, on this mixtape, not just the one track. Uh, yeah, God, I listened to it so much. I honestly, I, I became such a huge Lil Yachty fan because of that mixtape that I almost dyed my hair red. I thought the red hair would have been cool. I wish that was a joke. It's not. I, I seriously almost dyed my hair red. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and you know, that was in 2016. He's done a lot since then. He was a double XL freshman. He was featured on a lot of, you know, successful singles like Broccoli by Drum, I Spy by Kyle. Uh, he was even in the uh, Fast and the Furious soundtrack in My Foreign uh, by the Americanos. He was in that. Became a brand. You know, he teamed up with Sprite, teamed up with Target, huge companies that just wanted him because of his aesthetic and his appeal to the masses at this time. He was, you know, everyone was talking about Lil Yachty when this mixtape came out. You know, the way he looked, the way he sounded, very unique. Uh, caused a lot of controversy, you know, had a lot of beefs after this mixtape with uh, Hot 97, Joe Budden, uh, you know, saying he thinks Biggie is overrated stuff like that, you know, he was very much for the cutting edge, the now, didn't like dwelling on things that happened, you know, when he was a baby, you know, he, he was not an old head by any means. And then he released an album, Teenage Emotion, uh, not quite the hit that he was hoping for, I'd imagine, but uh, Teenage Emotion had really good production, uh, it had it had its good moments, but for the most part, it seemed kind of messy. Seemed not really as much of his comfort zone as Little Boat One. It seemed like he was trying a lot of things, a lot of new things, which you know I always respect that. But for the most part, yeah, not really anything too crazy going on. I also think a big thing was on Little Boat One, Burberry Perry now known as uh, The Good Perry, was the main producer on that album, Teenage Emotions. He was only on like one song. And I just, I think his chemistry was best with Perry. I wasn't sure how to feel about Lil Boat 2 because he hadn't been doing anything too great, in my opinion, in comparison to the first Lil Boat since then. I went in kind of skeptical. Honestly, I can't say I need to listen to it any more than I have, which has been twice now. It's 
pretty much the polar opposite of low boat one. It's like way darker. There's like no hooks at all. He doesn't really sing. He's like mainly rapping, which, you know, he's a rapper. That's fine. But, you know, that I don't think anyone's ever listening to Lil Yachty for the raps, for the bars. I don't think anyone's trying to do that. Okay, I, a couple things, though. Has a lot of A-list features. All of the features, I'd say, are pretty good. Or at least most of them are, like, pretty solid. They all did a good job. Uh, the production is all good, but it's all just, like, dark trap. Not It's all in minor keys as opposed to the major keys that Lil Boat won. It's very 808 heavy. Not a lot of, like, sparkly highs or anything like in the first mixtape. So just a lot darker sounding. Way more, like, traditional trap. Something you'd probably more likely hear from... I don't know, Black Youngsta, 2 chains when he's dark, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I would say as a whole, the features shine more than him on this mixtape, which is not a good sign. Uh, he, they really carry the mixtape more than he does, I would say. There's no good Perry production at all, which I thought was a huge mistake. Uh, like I said, he was the main producer on the first mixtape and even uh the tracks that he wasn't producing you could tell the producers were copying good perry's sound um it was clearly like this is lil yachty sound we all need to make this kind of sound for him and now there's none of that except for maybe she ready which features pnb rock that's like the closest you get to the old lil yachty sound and uh, maybe six six with Trippy Red. Yeah, I don't know. But for the most part, it's just not his sound. This mixtape would be totally unrecognizable as a Lil Yachty mixtape if it wasn't for his voice, which is so distinct. That being said, do I think that he's totally finished? You know, he had the album flop. This I kind of consider a flop, even though the numbers haven't really come in yet. Uh, but do I think he's like finished? No. Mainly, one, he's still so young. He's accomplished so much. Uh, he's only, like, 20, I think. Um, he still has a very dedicated fan base who just love anything he puts out. Uh, he was never, like, a lyrical genius, so, like, if the lyrics and the bars disappointed you here, it's not like you were, like, super into him before this, you know? Because his lyrics were never, like, the main appeal, I thought. Uh, I think he's still going to get a lot of features on other big songs because, you know, he has a very distinct sound when he has the right production around him. Uh, and, you know, and he tries to be, you know, happy because uh, he really let Lil Boat take over. And if you're not aware, the whole Lil Boat mixtape was about his, like, split personalities. He has Lil Yachty, which is, like, the happy guy who sings, and there's Lil Boat who does more of the rapping and is darker and i feel like on this mixtape it's way more little boat with a little bit of lil yachty whereas in the first mixtape we were kind of just getting introduced to lil boat yeah and i i just think there still needs to be more of a balance because lil boat by himself is not very compelling in my opinion but yes if lil yachty stays being lil yachty then I think he will still get a lot of features. Um, but yeah, as far as his music, I don't think people are going to be talking about him as much. He's not quite as hot of a topic. Uh, and his music has given little to be talked about lately. Uh, I'm sure we'll still talk about his opinions because he still comes out with these controversial opinions. And, you know, he still has, in his short time being, you know, famous, he has left a legacy in the whole... SoundCloud rapper kind of way, you know. He hates being called a SoundCloud rapper, but, you know, he's a SoundCloud rapper. He was able to get out of the SoundCloud scene, which I feel was kind of weird at the time. Uh, now that happens all the time, but when he came out, people were like, oh, SoundCloud rapper, like, that we actually give a shit about? That's kind of weird. And there's been a lot of Lil Yachty clones since then. None of them have quite done it like him. 
or have quite been able to get out of the SoundCloud scene like he did. So I, you know, he still has a legacy, still gonna get featured, still gonna maybe be talked about, just not about his music. Uh, and he still has fans, I'm sure. Yeah, so I think he's going to be all right. And plus he's so young, like I said, so he still has a lot of time to come back from these last two not so great releases. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that uh, the next thing he releases is a little more old Yachty. And I, I hate saying that like, I like the old stuff better than the new stuff. I fucking hate that. But in this case, yeah. I think he really had a unique sound and he has not delivered that same kind of uniqueness since then. So that's my review of Lil Boat 2 by Lil Yachty. And uh, yeah, if you want to hear more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe and I will be posting more soon. So see you later.